Hey hello everybody, my name is Katemo. Welcome back for another video of Tell Me Why. We're going to continue this series. I uh, really enjoyed the first part. I, uh, I think you guys enjoyed it as well. So let's go ahead and continue this series. Uh, it's going to be interesting where it leads us to. We uncovered their so-called powers in the last video. Uh, we don't really know what it is all about. We just know it's due to memories and stuff like that. It's some sort of bond. So let's see how it works. We got another bond right here. Let's remember that memory and see what uh, what's this all about. Hurry, let's go see the silent frog. Coming, I'm coming. What? Stop sulking. I told you already, I'm sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> okay, guess you don't want to see what I put in the treasure room then. What? No, I want to see. What's in the treasure room? The hell? I guess we know where to search now. To remember which one is the silent frog. Oh, so we gotta look for the right one. Yeah. I guess is it's uh, the one in the left. Hmm? It's gotta be right. No, not this. One. Of course it's not. Why am I wrong, boys? All right, the middle. Then I'm just gonna go from the. Uh... Where's the key? Oh really? Kidding. Oh, I got it. All right. It was the middle one. I wanted to go for the middle one at first, but then I said, you know what? Maybe the left middle one's too obvious. I guess not. So what do we do with that key? Uh, do we finally have the key maybe to open this, this right here. Yeah, there we go. We have like a hundred keys and none of them open the door, uh, the, the house for some reason, boys. Makes no sense. Let's take the screwdriver. That's what we we, uh, we wanted. Got it. All this for a screwdriver? You got a better idea how to get in? Yeah. Do you? I don't think you do. What is this? Take. What? What is this exactly? Who left this box here? It it's a box. New. It wasn't me. Has someone been out here recently? Guess what? It's your lucky day, bird friend. Interesting. Oh, it's to, it's to feed the birds or something. What the hell, boys? So who? How are there gonna be birds in here? You see the the it's winter. I don't know. I don't know, boys. Let's go. Uh, let's go in really quick. Unscrew this uh, this plank of wood. You know, instead of doing that, he could have just simply unscrewed the sure last, the last this little uh, den, screw dry, uh, screw or the whatever that that was available. He just unscrewed two of those and then said, "Fuck it, I'm ripping it off." Couldn't you do that the first time around, Dan? Everything okay down there? Tyler? <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Not then why am I laughing? Okay, fine. But you're still an idiot. All right. I'm going in for real this time. Okay. I'll see you at the front door in a few minutes. Guess we're going from inside, boys. Go ahead, buddy. You're good. Ouch. Oh my Are god, of okay? course it's gonna... What happened? Are you an idiot? My head like Watch out for your head. Wait. What? Why is this thing so... Like... You see how tall this thing is? You can all fit like any child could fit in here. That's ridiculous. It's back. Oh shit. This so will be a field trip for a dog, that's for sure. This thing's like a, an underground facility. The hell, boys? There's even toys in here. Of course there are. Hold on, let me check uh, at that though. Can't pick it up? Never mind. What do we do here? There's a bunch of stuff we can look at. I would have taken gold. Not even in the dreams. Interesting. What is this? Examine. What the that looks creepy as hell. I'm gonna just take it. Do we have anything else here? Nope. Doesn't look like it. What's in this really does look creepy, boys, I'm not gonna lie. Who are we listening to? How are we hearing her right now? Is she like she must be far away. How are we able to literally hear her from that uh, that far? I don't know, boys. Unless we're going crazy or something. Examine. Wait, that was our treasure. It's 
just trash. Holy shit. It looks like yeah, that looks kind of weird. What kind of treasure is that? All right, let's um, let's just move forward, I guess. What do we? Oh, there we go. We got uh, we got it right there, boys. Open it. That was almost too easy. Oh, chill. Coming. I'm in. Good lord. I know you've been in the house for two seconds already panicking. Are you okay? I'll live. Good to hear your voice again. Yeah. Same here. So, coming in or what? Just working up to it. Well, we're here. Here we are. This looks like a pretty simple house, boys. So, how do we get started? We figure out what to keep, what to trash, and see what else this house might be trying to show us. All right, then. Looks like we're packing, boys. What the hell is this? Packing simulator. Let's see. Uh, look. Look at all these. This is no good. We should probably get uh, talk right, about that I thing. Broken this is shelf, broken. Who's broken the who's gonna want that? And the washing machine. Broken. Look at all these. I'm not gonna look at everything, boys. If I can pick up stuff, I'm gonna pick it up. But I'm not gonna look at stuff for no reason. Examine. Don't matter. Look at this. Nope. Why would I look at a bunch of cheats? Cheats. Oh, what about this we though? We were so competitive about who measured taller, like we actually had anything to do with it. All right, nothing really. Yeah. None of that crazy I'm already back in here. Let's check this door. Oh, actually, before I go into any room, I'm gonna check the kitchen or whatever, the living room, whatever you wanna call it. This room is pretty small, boys. What is this? I don't remember this. two of them maybe they were us in some weird way that only made sense to Marianne hey pretty sure she cared about you my guy examine the hell is this test there's a note right here read uh read it Let, let's see what we, uh, what's written in it so let's see, uh, hey mom, we are sorry the vase got broke, we didn't know you'd love it so much, need to be careful, I'm sorry too, we should be more careful, I'm very sad, okay, that's interesting boys, a bit of story right there, you guys can read that uh, on your own free time, I can, I have a dialogue thingy that I can do, your apology letter, nah, it's, it ain't nothing. It's nothing. Nothing interesting. It's nothing interesting. Let's uh let's Pinch. take a look right here. Penny. She pinched her for penny. What about this? Nothing. Gave them to us, right? Yeah. She thought we were gifts. Clearly nothing going on. What is this? We were in a way cool when she uh came over. She thought we were gifted. Well, we were in a way, I guess. We were. Just not like she thought. I think she knew we were sharing answers. We shared for fun. We both knew them all anyway. Looks like we got a memory thingy, boys. I can feel it's vibrating. So maybe I gotta use the thing? 
Do I use? Yeah, I think I gotta basically use it. Yeah, all right, there we go. That's how it works. I just want to look really quick around though before using that power or something. That's a, it's a nice cozy place. Reminds me, actually, looks a little bit like the house from the lice uh, from uh, the second one, the second game. A bit different, but looks a little bit uh, the, the same. Quiet times. We used our our voice. Ah, quiet times, I guess. That was the one time we were ever quiet. We knew she needed to sleep. We all needed her to sleep. Yeah, she really doesn't like Mariana. Let's see what we got right here. Remember this place. Remember it, boys. Um, Mom, about me joining the hockey team. Mom. Sorry, what? Uh, not now. Maybe next year. But you promised. Keep whining, and my next year will become never. Can you cut my hair? Your hair is fine. But I want to cut it short, really short. What? Look, I'm tired, and I'm busy. Let's talk about this later. You always say that. That's rough. Marianne said no to everything. It made me so pissed. She was always on edge those last few months. Yeah. And completely deaf to everything I was telling her I needed. She pretty much always said no to me, too. True. But it felt personal with me. I'm, my guess is she wasn't that bad a p p person, right? Unless she was starting to uh, literally torture these kids. I don't think she was that bad of a person. I think she this just didn't have any money. And she, the way she was doing it was probably wrong, but Spring, glue, obviously she meant, uh, she meant to be bad or something. Bear. Just left a bad taste in their mouth, I guess. Uh, not when we broke them. So, love uh, something to fix. I love fixing things. I wish they fixed her. She fixed her. No. I love fixing things, I guess. Oh, the last option was really things. mean. What the hell, boys? Those hands. options they're giving uh, us is like... You can things. really be uh, jerks. No. Those are hot rod things. Oh. I don't want my you characters to be... Well, right in I do want the girl to be a jerk. Kind of, because the way she acts, she acts like she really doesn't like Marianne. But with the guy, I don't think I want to be a jerk. I think I want to be just a simple, optimistic guy that uh, looks up to fond memories. Unlike the girl who is going to basically, the, the sister is going to basically be a jerk and always be pessimistic. Just to make it a bit more different. Alright, let's see what we got right here. This feels like yeah, the, uh, some sort of picture hey, or postcard. Hey, postcard we sent ourselves from Juno. Forever alone. What? We barely had any friends. We even had to be our own pen pals. Let's see what we got here on the, the back. Read. Hello, Allison and Ollie. We are writing from the past. Uh, was it like in the future? Anyway, Juno is super cool. We took the tramway all the way up. Who would have? Who the fuck is? Ollie and Allison. I I don't know, boys. Shh. Well, Allison is our sister, but it's not the same one. Do you copy? We're basically walkie talkies on legs, you know? Yeah, well, how do you play Ice Road Trucker Assassins without a walkie talkie, right? Yeesh. Oh, they're, they're, all of a sudden. Wait a minute. They're talking in their minds. Interesting. They're, okay, so they're both. Te that's how it works. They're telepaths. That's their powers. Because they were literally speaking to themselves in their minds right now. Okay, I was wondering what, what, why the 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 sound was so weird. Uh, the, the, she was basically speaking to me uh, like in my mind and stuff like that. She wasn't talking or anything, but I could hear her. Interesting, boys. So telepaths, something valuable in it. Look what I found. What? Only our greatest creation, the Book of Goblins. The Book of what now? Seriously, it was in that chest the whole time. All these stories. Look at this, boys. I'm not. More. It's one of these. Yeah, a lot of them. yeah, it's one of the only times I remember. Index. There's even an index and everything. Th these guys fall out of everything for this book. Next story. Man, they've got so many stories. God damn, they have a whole franchise in here. What the hell is this, boys? We literally could spend our time reading this shit, but uh, do, you, do you think I have time to read a friend? You're looking for something in like a, 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 a whole diary. saga of you books. Never told me about it. Yeah, 
With the way Marianne was, I tried extra hard to keep it a secret. Marianne. Yeah, that day she found out about it. Oh, let's remember, boys. Interesting, we got uh, more stuff. I do it's just for your benefit you read it didn't you you had no right to do that I have the right to do whatever I need to protect my little girl I'm not your girl I hate you you will always be my little girl and no matter how hard you fight me I'll fight twice as hard to keep you safe saw it coming she told me right to my face she was willing to hurt me to keep me from transitioning Tyler there is no way you could have known she'd go that far I want my diary back. Her room is the only place I didn't look. Okay, but do you need to get it, like, now? That diary was important to me, Allison. Writing down my thoughts helped me realize who I am. Well, then let's go find it. All right, let's go find the diary. The last book or something. We got a bunch of things to remember. That's how we're going to find out where it is, I guess. Ice T finally caught the hag. His furious voice could be heard throughout the forest. For your wickedness, you will be eternally bound to the lake. What? No way. Quiet, let me finish. You will no longer be allowed to leave. Not even under a full moon. The moon hag was imprisoned in the lake. And she never again tried to escape. Hmm. And then the title. What do you think? Not bad, right? Uh, I guess that's okay. But I would have changed the end. What? No way! Ice tea. I totally forgot about him. That's because it was dangerous to mention his name. He was too powerful. Well, interesting. So now, what does that tell us about the book, though? Nothing. That's not helping at all. I can't find the book. Where, where am I supposed to find a book at? It's probably in this door. The, the one room I haven't checked so far, though. What? Remember this? Uh, unfortunately. You must solve my riddle to earn the... Oh my god, are you serious? No riddle... Riddles? A good hard shove won't take care of. I mean, yes, we could brute force it, but it might be kind of fun to finally solve it. Right? Uh, how about no? Of the word fun. Okay, well, if we break it, we're just gonna have to fix it for the sale. So let's at least try not to. Oh, uh, you're, you're right about that one. Book of goblins. Yep. Hand it over. Jesus, we're gonna have to solve a puzzle, boys. You know that's my. Um, what are you looking for? The image on the door. That's my weakness right there. Me think of a story from the book, one that Marianne wrote. You have a way better memory than me. Well, the Book of Goblins was my creation. And you'll never let anyone forget it. Here it is. The one about the princess's party. Give it a read. I think the symbols may represent something in the story. What do you mean? First ghost memories, now storybook puzzles. What a weird day. What a weird childhood. Touche. Okay, you you really wanted me to solve a puzzle right now? Are you serious? 
Do you not know who I am? Solving puzzle is the worst thing you can ask me to do. Ah, fuck this. I'm breaking down the door. I'm sure. My life did a whole lot better when I stopped letting her set the I'm just going to have to repair her. Fuck it. I'm not solving any puzzles today, my guy. There we go. We don't have to repair the door then. He would just do, do, do a little tackle. It's not like he uh, used his foot or something. Door is perfectly intact. And you told, uh, you're telling me I would have wasted literally 30 minutes figuring out a puzzle when I could have just doing a simple tackle right so here. I, I chose right right there. Whatever. We're not 10 anymore. She spent so much time making those elaborate games and worlds for us. Yeah. Yeah. Enough that she lost her grip on reality. So, where do you think we should start looking? I don't know. Where in this mess would she stash someone else's personal thoughts? Well, that sounds pretty, uh, that pretty easy. How about there? Ah, that doesn't seem like it's it, here. but uh, it's a di- wait. I knew it. I fucking knew it. It's right there. You think she read it? Of course. She was nosy as hell. Man, I found it at the right- First place I look at, boys, I find it. How how cool is that, man? I know exactly where people take their- make their stuff at, boys. Jesus. That was too obvious. This game's a bit too obvious, boys. Everything- Literally everything that you think they're not going to do, they're going to do. It's always obvious. Too easy. Tyler. <laughs> Tyler. What? Look. Interesting. What? Where did you find that? It was on her desk with her papers. Seriously? Are you fucking kidding me? Look, we gotta be really careful not to overthink this. But it doesn't make any sense. She, she was mad, right? She was mad. I, I, I cut my hair. She attacked me because I cut my hair. She was mad, and she attacked you. We both saw it. Then what is this shit? I don't know. I don't know. Tyler, come here. She can't do this to me. Not now. When I finally made sense of a few things. Well, that was your first mistake. Thinking the world made any kind of sense. <laughs> Ten years in the grave, and she's still finding new ways to piss us off. Yeah. I think I need some air. Are you really, really sure? I am. Do it. Okay. Um. Here we go. <laughs> What kind of air cut is that, boys? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that looks, looks ugly as hell. <laughs> really? Yeah. 
Looks like she just Can't woke up so from long. a nightmare. She's been so sad lately. More than sad. She's been scary. Yeah, but not tonight, though. It was almost like a party. <sighs> thank you, Allison. You don't have to thank me. You're my sister. I feel more like... Like your brother. Brother, sister, we look out for each other. But I'm pretty sure I just gave you a really bad haircut. <laughs> oh yeah, tell me about it. It's worse than a bad haircut. But then again, it is a child Mom? doing an haircut, so... Mom? Hell, it's this, boys. Tell me why this mo uh, this game all of a sudden is turning into a scary game. <laughs> Out of nowhere. Next thing you know, Jason's about to appear, boys. Mom? Jesus Christ. The hell is this? Oh, no. No, 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 no. This is wrong. Put down so that gun. Wrong. Wait, stop. We got a psychopath in here, boys. We found your diary. Me too. I guess she was trying to figure out where you were at. Yeah, well, she should have asked. I wasn't some goddamn research project. I was her child. About the book. Raising your transgender child? Do you even know how rare these books were in 2005? Was she trying to figure out how to support me? Maybe. But she, she wasn't trying. She never... It doesn't make sense. I know. You cutting your hair was what set her off, right? Allison, she read my diary. She already knew. It wasn't my hair. And if we were wrong about that... Oh. You think she read it. It's possible she never even opened the diary, and that things are exactly like we always thought they were. But if she did, and they aren't... God, Tyler. Sure. I mean, we could have been wrong. But what good does it do to ask the question now? You mean other than not having to live with the thought that my mom tried to kill me for being me? Tyler, I know you want there to be something to find. Something that'll make it all make sense. But she was unhinged. So that's it then. She was crazy. Nothing else to say. I think we'd be better off if we tried to move on. Why don't we talk to a few people who knew her? See if that book makes any sense to them. People don't want to talk about Marianne. They pretend like that night never happened. Maybe Tessa has some answers. What about Tessa? She was Marianne's closest friend. Let's ask her about it. Sure. And I'll warn you, she's particularly touchy about this subject. Well, maybe she'll talk to me. I was always her favorite. Operative word, was. But we need to go by the store anyway. To get a few things for the repairs. Great. Two seagulls, one stale hunk of bread. I'm not sure I like that analogy. Listen, I, I got that one. About this. I got that well, one. You, you're not taking that away from me, do. my guy. I see well, you, talk. developers. Did we do so? Let's talk. Why rush the house sale? Is something wrong? Yeah. Is something wrong here, Ellison? 
You've been on edge all day. Is there something more going on with you? It's nothing. Pretty sure it's not nothing. And I'd like us to be on the same page. I thought we were on the same page. Sell this place as quick as possible and move on. That book changed everything. Well, it's important to me. Look, I've already explained why this is so important to me. Why are you still dragging your feet? It's just, with the way you avoided this place for the last three years, I thought you wouldn't want to spend any extra time here. Oh. So that's what this She is. just wants to leave. Maybe a little. Yeah. It's just... You graduated three I'm the one getting mistreated over uh, my entire childhood, and she's kids. the one doing, uh, doing uh, baby stuff. Come on now. Wasn't ready to come back. Couldn't find the time. I just couldn't find the time. I wanted to talk to you about that. But it never seemed like the right time. I tried to visit you. I tried to go to your fireweed graduation. I wanted to bake you a crappy boxed cake and take awkwardly posed photos. I know. But you shut me out. All I got was non-responses and half-assed evasions. Stop making it about you. I was hiding from everyone. You know, how about you just stop making it about you? It's always about you, Allison, isn't it? It was about me, not you. And making it about you is really not cool. Seriously? That's it? Seriously. Okay, then. Yeah. We ha uh, why rush the house sell anyway? So, I was thinking... Hmm? Do we need to be in such a rush to sell this place? Oh my god, Tyler. Really? What? Everything we thought we knew about Marianne just got thrown out the window. Maybe it did. Or maybe nothing's changed and we dig up that nightmare for no reason. So, it's not worth the risk to you? Not if it means throwing away all our plans. Your plans. It's your plan to sell Exactly. The house. You want to you sell the house. To to Doesn't mean I want to. I'm just looking for some goddamn peace of mind. How about... We start digging without putting off the sale. And if it seems like we need more time, we'll talk about it then. Okay. What do we do exactly? I'm pretty sure we just gotta talk to her and uh, get out of this place. But before we do that, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it for right now, boys, for today. Uh, remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.